I got a lot of enemies who used to be my friends. Jenny, I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girls. Shut up. Y'all be waiting for this one. I know. I'm gonna shoot a nigga off the dribble. Ah, why? Why? Okay. I want lights. He's saying call me like he don't know my number. Do you not have my number? Why are you saying call me like you don't got my number? Who are you on the phone with? Okay, I'm filming right now. If y'all hear, it's just Jaden on the phone. Anyways, so today. My intro? Really? You always forget it. Oh my god. What is up, YouTube? My name is Alyssa. For those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. What is up? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I got my nails done, guys. <laughs> I literally love them. And I met a subscriber when I was getting my nails done. She was so cute. Oh my god. I think her name was Wendy. Girl, nobody asked. Okay. So this video, I couldn't even tell y'all how many times I've been asked to film this video. This and like two other videos are so highly requested. I'm getting to them. But this time, it is the curly hair routine. Y'all all been waiting for it ever since I cut my hair. I've been waiting for it. I don't know why I waited this long. But anyway, so I'm going to be showing you guys my curly hair routine. Yes, my hair is straight right now. But that's because I need to wash it. And I've literally been waiting to film this video. So I can show y'all my wash routine too. Also, I'm not back at my mom's house. My dad's still in town. But I just came here to film this video. And I'm going back after this. Anyways, y'all don't care. So I literally brought my packing tube of my hair stuff. Because what the okay, anyway. So I'm gonna run through the products right now to show you guys what I use, and then I can do the actual routine and y'all won't have to whatever. Oh my god. Okay, so we're gonna start with the products I use in the shower. Okay, let me turn this down because I'm not gonna be able to be so in the shower today I'm gonna be washing my hair, but I usually don't but we're just gonna today's a wash day So I actually have four products that are from one specific brand Um, when I went to go get my hair done They actually had them in the salon and I bought them because they're super good. They are a little expensive But they're really good products. So so this is the brand. It's called innocent This is what I use to shampoo and condition my hair and then I also have like two styling products Whatever we're getting there <laughs> one step at a time Alyssa so this is the shampoo that I use. This is the Innocent Hydrating Cream Hair Bath. I'll link everything in the description, by the way. This is a really good shampoo. It doesn't strip your hair, but it cleanses your scalp and moisturizes your hair at the same time. It's super good. I really like the shampoo. So I'm going to use this in the shower. And then I have a conditioner from their brand too. This is a Color Radiance Daily Conditioner. I use this every time I'm in the shower. I also use another conditioner, but we're getting there too. So anyways, yeah, this is the one from Innocent that I use. You're not gonna be able to see it's like white, but yeah. I don't know why I got the one that's for colored hair because my hair's not even colored but um i at least i'll have it for when i get my highlights in a few months i also use this conditioner which is the aussie three minute miracle curls this is like a deep conditioner and it has let me see coconut and australian jojoba oil this stuff is good okay they also have one i think i don't know but it has like a little water droplets it's like literally the same exact thing but this one just has jojoba oil and uh coconut like that's literally the only difference they're both the same i like this one a lot from aussie it's super moisturizing super good and it definitely gives your hair slip and it's super easy to detangle so this is the conditioner that i use as well then that's all for the shower next we have the maui moisture curl smoothie this is almost out i have another one but i didn't bring it so i'm literally in love with this product it's super good yeah maui why is it off centered a lot of people that i know like with curly hair use this and they swear by it and i do too why are you making noise like, shut up um this is a miss jesse's multicultural hair where do you see hair where do you see hair this girl oh my god so this is a miss jesse's multicultural curls this is like a curl cream it's really good for multi-textured curls and mixed hair to Okay, it's really good for multi-textured curls and mixed heritage textures. It softens and defines your curls. It's a wash and go styling product. Fast and frizz feet. Frizz, oh my god. Fast and frizz free. Jeez. Anyway, so yeah, this is a really good product. I recommend not 
every Miss Jessie's product because a lot of them have a lot of sulfate in them actually, which sucks. Maybe not even sulfate, but like silicone. It's something bad for your hair, but it's fine because that shampoo is super good. So I use it anyways because I could just strip my, whatever. So yeah, this is super good as well. All of my products are, I'm gonna say it every time. This was also recommended to me while I was in the salon getting my hair done. This is the Uncle Funky's daughter. They wanna be Carol's daughter so bad. <laughs> anyways, Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic. This is a curl stimulator, which is basically like a curl activator, whatever. It is already so good. Like, come on. This product is definitely known for its slip that it gives your curls. It is a curl stimulator. Like, it defines your curls to a whole other level. I really like this. It is on the more pricier side. I think it's 12 or $13 for this little bottle. But it's really good and I really like it, so. And it says it's for kinky, curly, and wavy texture. This stuff is bomb! I got it at Target. Then I have another innocent... Innocence? I need to go to bed! Then I have another innocence... Per all right. See, you're lucky I'm in a good mood because if it was the other day, I would have been having a mental breakdown by now because I can't speak. Anyway, so this is another Innersense product. This is a... This is a styling product. So this is a voluminizing lotion for body and fullness. It's super good. It's literally called I Create Volume. This is like super like cream. Oh my god. It's not like a cream though. It's like y'all will see, but it's it's different. I really like it though. And I'm gonna show you guys how to apply everything and all that, of course. And last but not least, we have another Innersense product. I do really like this brand and I don't find myself switching up anytime soon, to be honest. But y'all ask for my curly hair routine. This is it, at least right now. This is the Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. It's like a little spray. I actually don't. Sometimes I'll use it if I see some frizz. It like el eliminates the frizz like immediately if I use this. I usually use this on like day two, day three, and maybe day four curls. It just like refreshes your... It just like refreshes your curls and I mean it's also a leave-in conditioner but I don't really use it while styling. I usually just use it after. And then I use Eco Gel. This is like the one I use, the Argan Oil one. I just use this to do my edges because baby... Mm. And then for detangling, I have this brush. I just got it from Target. I literally couldn't even tell you what it was, where it's from. This is from Con Air. I figured as much. This is a really good detangling brush. So excited to show you guys. So let's get into the sh Let's not get into the shower. I'm gonna get into the shower. So I'm gonna get in the shower and wash my hair. I'm not gonna show you guys that because that's just like another, that's just a hot mess. No. I'm gonna use this shampoo that I was talking to you guys about earlier and this conditioner as well as the Aussie three minute miracle curls conditioner in the shower. And then just like I would normally apply shampoo and conditioner all that, do the easy stuff and detangle my hair with the Con Air brush. Then once I get out, I'm gonna show you guys step by step what I do for styling. And then boom. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. All right, so let me go wash my hair and detangle it. Girl, I get distracted so easily. Let me go wash my hair really quick and detangle it and all that, and I will see you guys with soaking wet curly hair. Let me show y'all the straight hair one more time, even though it's not even straight. It's like wavy at this point. I've literally been putting it in a bun for the past like four days. So this is what my hair is looking like still somehow like shiny and straight, but the bottoms are not the ends. Why did I say the bottoms? My hair is literally like wavy. Like it's not even straight, but okay, let's go. Jaden, how tall are you? 6'2"? Six 6'2". Two? Six two. Eh, that's not tall enough. For what? For me. Okay, leave. <laughs> oh my God. I can't control that young man. Don't call me young man. Don't call me short. I, not, I didn't say you're short. I'm just saying you're not tall enough. The leaf. You leave. Hold on. I'm about to film. Don't leave. Shut up. You're like five inches taller than me. Okay, cool. That's fine. Leave. No, that's fine. I'm saying that's fine. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl shit. I'm going to say that. He just, he's calling me. <laughs> Jenny, I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl shit. Shut up. <laughs> okay, Jenny, can I film now? No. I'm going to work. Okay. You go to work, I go to my work. Anyway, okay, so I'm out the shower. My hair is curly now, but it's not looking too cute. It also smells weird. Like, as in, like, like weird. It just smells like I just straightened my hair. Um, I feel like I kind of damaged my, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. Like, I could definitely finger curl them and they'll be fine. So, I'm going to fill up my water bottle really quick, and then we can start sectioning the hair, doing the whole, whole nine yards. Y'all be waiting for this one. I I also need to fix my part because now it's a middle part and that's just a no-go. So yeah, we're gonna do that too, but I'll be right back. Why am I screaming at y'all like, girl, shut the <laughs> So I'm back with a filled up water bottle now. It's 
spray bottle, whatever. I just got a sudden like wave of laziness, but we're gonna still do my hair, obviously, because I need to. So I have my t-shirt. This is what I use for my towel out the shower. This is my nickname. I think it's backwards, so I don't even think you can read it. I don't know. Anyways, sisa. Anyways, no one asks. So I'm just gonna use this to like wipe my hands periodically. Periodically, I know how to say the word. I'm just referring to the vine. Anyways, I'm also wearing my robe and I'm just gonna stay like that. The middle part is fine right now. It's just before it starts drying, I do need to fix the part, but that we don't have to worry about that yet. So I'm going to split my hair down the middle. It's already like getting dry, but to be fair, I was on the phone for like 30 minutes. Like I've been out the shower for like 30 minutes. So I'm going to put this side up, whatever side, but I'm just gonna start with this side. So I got this side up and a little baby ponytail so now i'm still gonna section this part when i'm detangling and stuff and putting product in i'm going to wet my hair Anyways. Okay, so I'm gonna brush my hair like right now because it's like soaking wet. I didn't rinse out the conditioner completely and I did that on purpose. So I'm going to brush my hair. Water and conditioner basically is in my hair right now. All right, so we got the soaking wet hair. So now, first step, I usually have the Garnier Fructis, like the green leave-in conditioner. I don't have that, but it's... Mm, whatever yeah that's part of my routine but i don't have it but i'm gonna go in with the maui moisture curl smoothie because that's one of the only cream based products that i have and you always want to start off with cream based products i mean that's what i do i know most people don't start off with heavy products but my cream based products are more likely to be heavier and i always start off with the heavy products i'm just gonna evenly distribute my maui moisture throughout my whole head of hair or at least this half for now i get inside i like lift up this half and make sure i get all of it like i literally make sure to get every single piece of my hair we don't want the other pieces feeling left out that cross nipping at your nose so i'm offering this stuff really does good things to my hair so i do put a lot of product in my hair i do have a heavy hand when it comes to um, my hair but there's a reason okay so now i'm going to use my miss jessie's multi uh, uh, i was about to say like multiple i don't even know what i was gonna say multicultural curls cream this is what it looks like i use about this much i will probably be going back in to get more but once the product's already kind of in my hair but not fully fingered like through my hair or whatever then i'll start sectioning and really getting my hair coated from this product if that makes sense i don't know i'm not good at tutorials just please watch and understand because i sound ridiculous i can't even take myself seriously when i'm trying to give a tutorial y'all know literally every part in every video every part of every video i'm being sarcastic and have some funny like something to say that's exactly why i cannot do routines or like tutorials because i just don't take i can't take myself seriously and i think y'all can't either i feel like y'all are like her being serious even in my sponsorships like i have to be somewhat serious it's so hard for me because i'm never serious on my channel anyways i don't know if that's a flex or not but regardless that's just is what it is okay anyways no one asked okay so now we're gonna move on to like the gel based products so i'm going to use my curly magic from the carol's daughter one of i meant the uncle funk what is this uncle funky's daughter isn't that just somebody's cousin? Whatever. So this, I actually don't put it in my whole head of hair. Like, I usually put it in sections because this is the product that really does it for my hair. And I want to make sure that I can get it throughout my whole head of hair rather than just, like, wing it. But it is, like, a really sticky, like, consistency. Y'all see that? Like, it's literally sticky. But it's like a gel, literally. It gives your hair so much slip. And it really does what it says it does, like... So we got the little top layer down. That's the most important because that's what people are seeing. And I'm really like, I'm not afraid to go ham with the products in my hair. I feel like that's why I have little to no frizz, at least recently when I really got my curly hair routine down. Sometimes, of course, like some days I'm not going to fully do 
way like the correct and long way all right so we got like the outside i'm still gonna get the inside because i flip my hair a lot and you still see the inside of course so we're starting to move on the inside now it's really good and it has like no silicones parabens sulfates none of that sulfates or sulfate i don't know anyways it doesn't have none of that now i'm gonna focus on the Damaged ends from the straight hair. I don't know why I did that. I mean, it was a sponsored video and it also I've been wanting to straighten my hair I just feel like I don't like yeah I think I look cute with straight hair like obviously I'm not gonna knock my like looks or whatever But I definitely would prefer my curls. I'm 100% confident with my curls. I love my curls short hair long hair medium I don't care. I love my curls and I just couldn't with the straight hair like i don't know literally i wasn't even halfway done and i was like i don't like it <laughs> but i did end up keeping it for like almost a week just because of laziness and because it's really cold right now in florida like it's been cold for over a week straight and that's never the case like it usually gets cold and then hot again and then like cold like a next like a few weeks later no babe it has been literally cold for over a week now and i didn't want to wash my hair and like get sick because i usually leave my house with my hair wet um for school at least which is why i never do my hair because i don't want to leave my house with wet hair like i don't know whatever anyways all right so now this is when the finger coiling starts i'm not done adding product in my hair i'm almost done but like not really so i'm gonna start finger coiling if i'm being honest i re-finger coil like the same few pieces over and over again i really don't know why like you only need to do it once I as he did put me onto the finger coiling but it never worked for my hair when it was long but as soon as i cut my hair it like works wonders literally so hope no one thinks i'm trying to be you for saying that Oh my god. God forbid I try to do something that Azzy does. Show. Sorry, that came from the heart. People have been recently. St I know this is a curly hair routine and nobody asked for the tea, but ain't no tea whatever but you know like people be assuming that i'm like true i'm not even gonna talk about it because that's so stupid but me as you know what's up so i don't really care but it's still annoying i'm just finger coiling like some of the top pieces i'm making big sections to finger coil small ones just trying to make it look better all right so we got the front pieces finger coiled they make a difference for real all right so now i'm going to take my innocence i what is it i create volume this little serum thing this is what it looks like it's literally like the same consistency as that curly magic so this is actually water based which means it gets activated by water so like you don't have to add any more of the product in your hair once you do you just add more water and then it like spreads throughout your hair um i'm pretty sure that's the same with my shampoo and conditioner like they're all water based i'm pretty sure if not all then most of them are water based this is why i redo the finger coils because i do this but yeah they're water based which means you only put a little bit in and then the water just like you know Reds. this works the best when your hair is like soaking wet um like in the shower wet but i don't really like doing my hair in the shower it doesn't work for me i guess i really don't know what christmas is all about Okay, so my hair is done being styled. I'm going to do the other side. We're gonna make it a little fast and quick and whatever. And then we'll do my edges and then do the next, whatever. Okay, same exact thing, same exact order. Maui Moisture, Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. Um, <laughs> Curly Magic, The Innocence, boom. Okay, let's go. Okay, so my hair is completely coated in my products that I use. My hands are so cold from like just putting a whole bunch of stuff in my hand. Whatever, anyways, that didn't make any sense. Now I'm going to do my edges with my Eco Styler Gel. Style Gel, where did I get styler from? Literally, you would be making stuff up. I really hope y'all ain't expecting no spectacular edges cause baby, that's not what you gonna get, okay? <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna really quickly go blow dry my hair, at least a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna diffuse because I'm gonna be sleeping on this tonight, which will do the job for tomorrow, whatever. I'm gonna be wearing it down tomorrow at school. So I'm gonna just dry it so I can actually like, I feel like I'll have time for it to completely air dry tonight before I go to bed, but I'm still gonna blow dry it a little bit. So I'm gonna go do that in the bathroom. We can, you can just come. I don't know why I'm acting like that's not part of my routine. 
So this is my mom's blow dryer. Mine is still in North Carolina. That was one of the things I had to leave behind, but um, it's okay. Good thing mom has curly hair. Actually, I don't need this. Okay. I hate when my thing is open. Oh my god. So I'm gonna blow dry my hair really quick. Um, obviously I can't talk while doing this, so just watch. <laughs> I forgot Dexter doesn't like it. I know, I'm sorry. Bye. He literally doesn't like the blow dryer, so he's gonna like bark. <laughs> Oh my god, I just realized I didn't part my hair. That's horrible. I'm just gonna use whatever's closest to me. Ah, uh, that doesn't look safe, but we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna part my hair a little bit to the side. Ow, what the? What is this? First of all, I'm just like over here. How do you, like, what? Are these like scissors? Like, 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 pl okay. We're gonna use my pinky. That's what we're gonna use. I gotta like get rid of this middle part somehow. Wait, is it this way? Or is it this? I think it's this way. Am I tripping or is it on the other side? Why do I look like that? Maybe once it dry. Like I feel like maybe I just parted too much. Okay, let me just finish drying. That's not roasting. Like frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample phrase. Some of y'all might be like, girl, where's the diffuser head? Why are you blow drying your hair like a white girl? I dry my curls before I diffuse them because it helps a lot with keeping the frizz down. Let me fix this before I get flagged. Yeah, I dry my curls before I diffuse them because once they're dry, you really can't mess them up or the pattern. I mean, you can, but whatever. I learned that when I diffuse my hair completely wet and I just go in and start diffusing my hair, it literally like separates my curls and then they just become super fizzy. So I dry my hair like a normal, just dry my hair like normal. Then I'll go in with a diffuser. I'm going to diffuse my hair just a little bit because it's looking a little flat. It's looking a little small. I also pick my hair once it's completely done, like being diffused or whatever. Pick my roots to make my hair more voluminous. But I don't have my pick because I it's in my makeup bag and on my hair, whatever. Anyway, so there's a few stuff missing from my roots but I still let y'all know what I do so it's fine so I'm gonna diffuse this really quick as much as possible and then um yeah so the only thing I'm missing is pick is my what the only thing I'm missing right now is one other leave-in conditioner and my pick I probably won't even pick it tonight to be honest because it's coming around 6 30 I have school tomorrow so I'm just gonna put in a bonnet once it's dry so in the morning I'll pick it out but right now I don't need to so yeah I'm gonna attach the diffuser head and then actually diffuse my curls now like a normal curly head light skin <sighs> I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about Oh, oh, oh. He got rich since my side, dude. I'ma shoot at a nigga, no dribble, I pull away. She got a little bit of ass in it, check oh. I'ma shoot a nigga off the dribble. Walk him down, walk him down, walk him down. Walk him down. Blow me up before and I feel like myself again. Blow me up some dope and I feel like myself again. I got a lot of enemies who used to be my friends. Now the Zannies help me slow up, the lean and help me speed. Ah! Okay, y'all probably like, why you got glasses on? If y'all didn't know, I'm actually blind as hell. I just never wear my glasses, but my head hurts really bad, and I have a feeling it's because I haven't been wearing my glasses. I remember that headache from anywhere. Anyways, so this is what my hair is looking like. Very much defined. Can y'all even, whatever. Heat damage wear. Also, Pete the Fit. Okay, we got the, okay, Pete the Fit, okay. I mean, it's the same fit that I started the video off with, but anyway. This, why not? So this is what my hair is looking like, okay? This is normally what it looks like. Uh, For a second I was scared because I thought it wasn't gonna turn out good, but it looks fine, so. I'm rushing now, if you couldn't tell. So I'm gonna do this outro while putting my stuff away. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There you go, this video has been super highly requested, as it should be. But yeah, I hope somebody learned something today and got put on by something today. The links will be in my description if I remember I 
probably won't but it's okay just remind me if they're not in there when i post this and i'll put them in anyways so thank you guys so much for watching also let me know if i should wear my glasses more often because my head literally stopped hurting as soon as i put them on i just don't like how i look with glasses on but if y'all help me if y'all tell me i don't look weird and it's just me then i'll start wearing them because i actually need to anyways that has nothing to do with anything i'll see you guys in my next video and until then bye